LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, question 10. The time t seconds that a pendulum takes to complete one swing is modelled by the formula t equals a l to the power of b, where l metres is the length of the pendulum and a and b are constants. For part a, we need to show that this relationship can be written in the form log base 10 t equals b times log base 10 l plus log base 10 a. So let's start with our formula t equals a l to the b. If we take log base 10 of both sides, we can now use our rules of logarithms on the right hand side because there we've got two items multiplying together within the log. We've got the a and we've got the l to the power of b. So by the rules of logarithms, we can split this up into an addition of logs. So the right hand side becomes log to base 10 l to the b plus log base 10 a. Now when we've got a power inside a logarithm, again by the rules of logarithms, we can bring this power out as a multiple. So that log base 10 l to the power of b is going to become b times log base 10 l, giving us the formula required. A student carried out an experiment to find the values of the constants a and b. The student recorded the value of t for different values of l. Figure 3 shows the linear relationship between log base 10 l and log base 10 t for the student's data. The straight line passes through the points minus 0.70 and 0 0.21, 0 0.45. Using this information, we need to find a complete equation for the model in the form t equals a l to the b, giving the value of a and the value of b each to three significant figures. So looking at the equation, log base 10 t equals b log base 10 l plus log base 10 a, we can see that this is in the form y equals mx plus c, and it gives us a straight line on the graph where the b is acting as the m. So b must be the gradient of our line. We can find the gradient by doing the difference in the y coordinates over the difference in the x coordinates. So that's 0.45 from the top right coordinate minus the zero from the bottom left and 0.21 minus negative 0.7, which is 0.45 over 0.91, which is 45 over 91 which as a decimal is 0.495 to three significant figures. We can now substitute this b into the log 10t equation along with one of our coordinate pairs. I'm going to use the minus 0.7 and the zero. So here's our formula, the log base 10t, I'm going to replace that with a zero. b is replaced with the 45 over 91 that we've just worked out and log base 10 L is replaced with a minus 0.7 from our coordinate. Rearranging this, we get that log base 10 A is equal to nine over 26. Hence, A is equal to 10 to the power of nine over 26, which to three significant figures is 2.22. Therefore, our equation is T equals 2.22 times L to the power of 0.495. For part C, with reference to the model, we need to interpret the value of the constant a. So if we look at the formula t equals a times l to the b, if l were to equal 1, then it wouldn't matter what b was, because 1 to the power of any other number is still going to stay 1. If that was the case, we would have t is equal to a times 1, which is just equal to a. Therefore, we can see that a would be the time taken for one swing of a pendulum of length one meter. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.